Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. John Coleman and I are here with our favorite tour, Bill Jordan. Hi, Bill. Hey, Hello, Bill. gentlemen. Gentlemen, how are you? Good to see you again, Bill. Now, listen, you are known for your 15 practices, mm. and uh, I, I think they're just wonderful philosophical advice for living for, really for everybody, but certainly for baby boomers. Yeah, I'm kind of targeted to baby boomers, hence the name Embrace the Boom, and I've always liked alliteration. That's probably comes from my radio background where like all of our promotions were alliterative, you know, Free Movie Friday, Wacky yes. Wednesday, you yeah. know, so you know, you had that repetitive uh, consonant sound. So embracing yeah. the boom has to do with being a baby boomer and and reveling in and to borrow from your name, celebrating where we are. And again, to try to get away from society kind of okay boomer and putting up, yep. you know, like it's a bad thing. I mean, what's your what's your option? You're if you're 30 and 40 years old, you don't want to get older. I think you do. I think you do, and I think that you want to be uh, living your best life when you get there. Yeah. Okay. So, exactly. so uh, do you have a, a particular one for us to uh, uh, to deal with today? Well, I'll tell you the uh, on my YouTube channel, which is entitled "Embrace the Boom." The most popular video is number ten. Practice number ten, and I'll preface it by saying this: Have either of you gentlemen ever been to a comedy club, like live comedy, not? Watch it and on TV. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. You've been there. All right. So do you know why they shoehorn you into those places where you got you and your wife and you're sitting at a table that you might be able to put it the size of a pie plate and you can put a tortilla chip and a drink on it? Do you know why they shoehorn you in there to the maximum fire department capacity level? Good good description of it, by the way. But I don't know, because they, they want to sell drinks. Well, they want to sell drinks and they want a lot of people in there, but it's primarily because <clears throat> the emotion is contagious. Your mm. laughter is contagious. When that comedian comes out there and they own the stage, and all it takes is one person to start laughing, and then everybody starts laughing because emotion, laughter, tends to yes. be contagious, as is, think of anger. Somebody mm. gets, think of road rage. Yeah. You know, the guy that you, somebody that cuts you off, you get angry. He gets angry at you for getting angry at him. And then it just builds. It is contagious. Emotions just seem to light that fire, strikes the match on it just spreading. But there's one emotion, and I've, I've put it on good authority, and I've researched this and read about it. Actually, I got it. I borrowed it from uh, a guy named Jocko Willink, who's a former Navy SEAL commander, and he wrote a book, several books. Um uh, but he talks about what big thing that they taught him in SEAL training was calm is contagious. But it, of course, when I've just said that all emotions are contagious, calm is the only one that I think, though, is a superpower. Somebody, if, if you can keep your, what, what's the line from Rudyard Kipling? If you can sure. keep your head while all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. Yeah. So if somebody's getting up in your face and you just look at them and you, Take that yeah. deep breath. The odds are they're going to calm down, too. And if you're yeah. the calm one in the room, you're seen as the leader. That's another thing, too. Now, the problem for me is when that reptilian brain kicks in and someone goes by and, you know, rolls over your foot with their shopping cart. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Not that that's ever happened. But, it, you know, it, it's hard to just you got to you got to grab a hold of that thinking process, you know, and calm process. Otherwise, you're, you're what are you doing? Look where you're going. You know, that's yeah. your first instinct. That's the reptilian non thinking brain that we've got. I really like that. And people have really gravitated toward it. And I and I find myself through the day remembering practice number 10. Calm is contagious. Calm is a superpower. Even if I'm by myself and I'm driving it and I'm a stoplight because how often, you know, that the road rage incidents, as an example, come out of the blue. It's not like, okay, I'm going to see this guy. He's coming. He's going to be getting mad at me. It happens in a flash. So I try to keep myself in this almost a loop that I remind myself through the day, not constantly. I'm not obsessed about it. But I try to remind myself through the day of every day that calm is contagious. I'm not an expert at this. But I do feel and I think that my wife, my daughter, my family, my friends may tell you that they think I'm better about it. 
Yeah, I, I can attest to the fact that a calm is contagious. Uh, even just this morning, I was sitting at a left-hand turn signal, and it was uh, rush hour traffic. So they don't. It's not a smart light. In other words, it doesn't matter if there's no traffic coming from any direction. <laughs> that left him signal on the weekends, it's fine. No traffic within 15 seconds, you make your left. I was pulled up. I was the first car there. Okay. And it just turned red. And it literally was like three minutes and there wasn't a car on the road, except for the ones behind me. And they're beeping like, okay, this is not one where you're going to get a ticket. You know, make the left. Uh, no. And uh, I got into a zone with it, the, but I, I, I do agree. It's probably one of your most powerful yeah. uh, principles you know, uh, for us to follow. You know, Bill, as you were describing it, you did something I think is important uh, for calm. You took a breath. Calm is mm -hmm. contagious. And there's an interesting connection between our breathing patterns and our emotions. No question. When you're angry, when you're angry, you sh your blood is flowing, you're breathing fast, you're hyperventilating. Mm -hmm. And when you're calm, you're breathing slowly. And you know, it's funny, I, I will mention to people about the importance of breathing and they think I'm stating the obvious. Obviously we're breathing or we're not living, yep. right? Yep. But sometimes I'll be going around the house and I'll do this, I'll go. <sighs> and my wife hears me do that and thinks I'm exasperated. <laughs> she thinks, okay, what, 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 what was that all about? You, yes. you sighed. It's like yeah. I, I for, I've been forgetting to breathe. I needed yeah. to take a deeper breath. And there's a thing, there's all kinds of breathing, and I'm not an expert in any of this, but there's a thing called box breathing that you guys are probably familiar with. And there's all kinds of ways to do it, but it's a simple matter of relaxing, being calm, inhaling for four seconds, holding it for four seconds, letting it out for four seconds, and then leaving it all the way exhaled for four seconds and starting it over. And if you will do that, and it's slowly, if you will do that in through your nose, out through your mouth, it will calm you. It just yes. absolutely will calm you. Yeah. And also calm, uh, you know, you're right. It's an emotion. It's one of many emotions. But calm is a healthy emotion. Uh, sure. Think about, uh, particularly as we get older, a lot of people have hypertension. Now, it could be for many reasons, but it's also possible that it's because you're not calm. And you can calm yourself. I love number 10. It's a great practice, Bill. Well, there's a there's a motivational speaker and also an author, Andy Andrews, who does a video called The Seven Decisions for Success, something like that. And it's a tremendous thing. And he's talking about getting all angry. And he says, if people say, well, I can't help it. I, I can't control my, my anger. And he says, yes, you can. And how many times have we done this? You're arguing with your wife. You're arguing with somebody. You're yelling. The phone rings. And you go, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Before we knew who was on the other end, before all the caller ID and everything, we used yeah. to just pick up the phone. We could shut that anger off and just go, "Hi, hello, hi, good evening." Yeah, and it was all gone because we can control it. Yeah, we can control it, and we gonna get. Hey, look, we're human. We're 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 fallible. So that's why I say these 15 practices I've got in the. I don't know if we've mentioned it, but I've got in this book. So um, the 15 practices. <laughs> It, they 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 take practice, and again, I am never, I am never going to perfect these things. And I've got a thing on Facebook that I get teased about. Some people really like it, and some people are annoyed by it. And I'll just say it's a bit of advice, or it might be a quote or something. And my caption on it is "Take note, young Jedi." Like it's the Yoda giving them, you know, this advice. Yeah. And I and I tell them it's like that advice is for me. That advice is either for me now, or I wish I had known this when I was a teenager yeah. and grown up with it, you know? So mm -hmm. um, it's just my way of saying, or I'll say sticky note to self. Sometimes it's super sticky note to self. <laughs> you know, well, I think at this point, then uh, what I want to say to you, uh, uh, Bill, is take notice, Jedi. Yes. And take embrace notice, the Jedi. boom <sighs> and remain calm. <sighs> Live your life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom. Thanks for having me back, guys. See you soon, Bill. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.